Hi guys. Um, so I had shared on my YouTube community page this morning that last night when I was praying, I received a vision of, um, it was a waning crescent moon and it suddenly was setting on the horizon and, um, I, and I also saw like stars coming down, like as if they were going with the moon in that direction towards the horizon. Um, but then I do remember also there was, um, an owl on a tree, like on the horizon line that I saw. Um, but I shared that on my community page this morning cause I was like so blown away because I had that vision during prayer last night. I, I haven't had the Stellarium app on my phone for a few weeks cause I've been having phone issues. Um, and I finally downloaded it tonight and I felt led to look at the moon. Um, oh, by the way, this morning I saw that on Google um, that it, it, today's moon was a waning crescent moon, like a sliver, which is exactly how it was in my vision last night. And I had no idea what the moon phase was, honestly. Um, and so tonight I felt led, I finally got to get Stellarium again back on my phone and I felt led to look at the moon and I noticed something that it, I noticed that it was in Virgo, like right by the barley in her hand. And it was exactly like my vision, like the sliver, I mean the waning sliver crescent. And, um, I noticed that the sun, when I was looking, because I would look in Israel, I noticed that it was in Virgo still like staying there as the sun was rising and, and the moon like stays pretty much in the same spot until the sun gets closer to Virgo and then it finally starts to move. And so I was like, huh, I don't know, it could be why... Um, it could be why he gave me a vision of the setting moon, like moon setting suddenly. Um, but he also gave um, a personal message like to Mandy and all of us um, mentioning something about the moon fermenting. And so I don't know if that has to do with what I saw in Solarium and if it ties to my vision because my vision, the moon was setting sudden, like quickly or whatever, but it's almost like the moon today or on the 11th, um, in Israel, um, like it, it's almost like it, it took forever to set or whatever. I don't know. I'm not, um, huge on knowing all the different, um, the process or whatever of everything with the moon and the sun, but, um, maybe you guys can help. Um, but I just want to show. It. So you can't see here, but this is like after the sun is just rising or whatever in the morning and the moon is like still there, um, near the barley in her hand. Um, I scrolled back to time a little bit. So there's the sun rising and the moon's up there near the barley. And then I just keep going. Here's a more zoomed out ver um, photo of it or a screenshot. So the sun is near the east or whatever. And then um, just rising. And then the moon is there. And then Venus as well. And then 825, 1053. They get closer together, the sun, the moon, and Venus. And now the moon is starting to set, like, just before the sun will set in the west. And then they're gone. So I don't know uh, what this means, but I found it interesting because it's almost like my vision. He wanted me to check for the waning crescent moon and when it's setting, right? And that's when I noticed that it was still in Virgo or whatever almost as if it didn't set. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it happens all the time or maybe it happens sometimes, but pretty interesting. So I wanted to share just in case. I love you in Christ. God, God bless.
Oh, also, um, just one more thing. I don't know if this is normal either, but it seems like the sun follows the moon to rise again. Almost like they're so close together, rising together from the east on um, Sunday or on the 12th. So that's interesting to me. I don't know. As I said, I could be way off and it could happen.